Hola everyone, my name is Shayla Hernandez. I am the service department manager at Working Bikes. Welcome. Uh, right now we're at this awesome event, Cycle Can, over here in North Lawndale. I just wanted to share with you guys a little bit of my experience and knowledge on tools. So, uh, QBP was pretty awesome. They donated, they gave us a bunch of tools. Uh, and we're just gonna go over them and then the purpose of each tool. Uh, if I don't know the name, no worries. Feel free to like Google it or something like that. I'll, I'll just call it a tool or something. But we're gonna go ahead. We'll start with the socket branches right over here. These are pretty cool to like take the, the bolts out of, uh, if you wanna change your flat out of solid um, axle bolts. This will be really helpful. I'm usually pretty like used to um, using box wrenches, but we have this assortment instead. You wanna go ahead and keep like the levers with it close to it, especially when you're setting up like outside of a bench tool. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and set them up over there. We're gonna go ahead and move on with the Allen keys. Allen keys are pretty impor important. Uh, people call them Allen keys or hex tools. Um, all right, and they usually come and the different sizes, we have the 10 millimeter right here. Let's see, we're gonna jump to the eight millimeter, right? And you wanna sort of like keep them together, keep them uh, from like biggest to smallest or smallest to big. That way you know which one is available to you when you need it the most. This one is a six, five millimeter. Five millimeter is a very common tool that we use in, in bikes. Let me see, four millimeter. We have a third one and all the way 2.5 to a two. So we'll go ahead and put the 2.5 2 in the two. You can set them up either like really close together or really far away from each other, but you just want to know clump together. That way you know what size you need. Uh, this you can mount to the wall. It's pretty cool because it makes it more accessible. If you set it up and it gives you the number two, so it's just like, it's, we usually put it in the center of the bench and you can just like reach out to it and then put it back in. Uh, but for now, just for the setup, we're gonna go ahead and put it, we're just gonna lay them out. Let's see. Um, another very common repair uh, for fixing a bike is fixing a flat. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys all the type of levers that we need. Uh, there's a pretty cool tool levers to take out the tires, the beat of the tire, you take out the tube, um, I try to either put them together or just like unclamp them and then lay them out. Whatever is convenient for you. But anything that has to be related with like fixing a flat, I'm going to go ahead and put them together. Just like group them together. This is a pretty cool tool. Um, this, you, the valve core sometimes will get loose and air comes out of the tube. You can use this just to tie in the center of the valve and then just tighten it instead of having to replace the whole thing. I'm gonna put it really close to like anything that's related to like tire fixing, right? We're just gripping them. This is another tire lever. This is pretty awesome. It has like a metal tip. It's actually metal and then just cover in plastic. Um, the beat of the tires, especially the skinny ones on road bikes, so when they're brand new, they're really hard to take off. So this will be very helpful to like, just take it out and then snap it all the way out. Put it right over here. What else? Try tools, my favorite. These are pretty cool. Um, so you have the most common sizes that you use on fixing a bike. We have the four millimeters, uh, five millimeter and the six millimeter. Uh, these are pretty important. They give you also really good leverage to like like break open or break loose um, a tool. These are pretty cool tools to the um, try tools at three, two and 2.5. Um, they're pretty convenient, you know, when you have to do like fine tuning, some of the bolts. This is pretty convenient as well. I'm gonna put them together so I know that they're reachable. If you need more leverage, I recommend, say the bolt is really stuck, I recommend using something, you, you use a short tip to break it loose, and then you go ahead and use the, the longer version to like take it out. But it gives you really good leverage. Um, let me see, let me see, oh, right? You always need a flat screwdriver and then you need a, a Phillips screwdriver. Very, very helpful, very useful. Fine tuning a, a bicycle, just taking a little screw helps a lot. Just setting your lemon screws also helps a lot. I'm gonna put them together in here. We have hammer. You definitely need a hammer here and there, especially if the bicycle's like older and some of the 
some of the bolts are pretty stuck, you know, I don't know. Make sure you use the right tool on the right part of the bicycle. I'm gonna go ahead and put on the far side. All right, guys, let me see. We're gonna go over like comb branches. Oh, I missed the comb branches are pretty cool. If you ever need to overhaul a bearing system, you're definitely gonna need like bearings, um, the comb branches. And you have the different sizes from 14 all the way to 18 millimeters. So I'm just gonna set them up right here, make it look all nice and pretty. We have the 18, let me see, spread them out, 18. I am usually do like the smallest number to the biggest one. So I'm gonna go to a 14, where is it? Anything that's like reachable for you. 14, where's the 15, right? They have numbers on them, very helpful. Uh, these are to take the, the cone that's inside you know, touching all the bearings. You definitely want to use one of these. We're going to go all the way around. Um, depending on what type of mechanic you're going to be doing, if you need these, you don't use them as often, you can just go ahead and put it at the end of the table. But if you use them more often, you can definitely have them closer to you, right? Depending on what kind of, like, you know, um, repairs you need to be doing. These are pretty cool, double-ended cone wrenches. Um, you can use it for a lot of things. Usually problem solving, you wanna use like something that's like, uh, I don't know, centering a caliper, a brake caliper. These are pretty helpful. I don't know if you need an 18 millimeter one, but we have the nine, the 11, the 10, and the eight. These are pretty cool as well to like, just really fine tuning the spring on that brake caliper. What else, what else? This is like opening a Christmas present. I love this. Uh, we have scissors. You definitely need the scissors sometimes just unwrapping, just cutting up items. I don't know. This is very helpful. I always keep them together with the electrical tape in case you're doing a bar wrap. You definitely want to put them together. So we'll do it there. Let me see. So usually I do it by category. So anything that has to do with like fixing a flat, we'll do it like right here. Allen key, socket wrenches, right? Um, just put them together in a way that when you're thinking of the repair, you're also knowing what the, you have like a flow on, on all the tools. Uh, spoke wrenches, I don't use them often. We usually just replace the wheel, like get a better one, but like spoke wrenches, if you want to line a, a wheel, you have that here. We have the chain breaker. Chain breakers are pretty cool. I do use them a lot, so I'm going to get them closer to me. So if I'm working on the bike, I know that they'll be like right here. I'm gonna put, this is called the Masterlink um, opener. I don't know. Uh, so it goes like I'm backwards, it like squeezes in the Masterlink and you can just take him out. I'm gonna put him close to the, the chain breaker just so I know that they're together and I don't have to worry about it. Let me see. Pedal wrench, this is my favorite one. Pedal wrench is very helpful. It has a lot of really long leverage, especially when that pedal is really stuck. There's some ways that you can like position it if you need it to be closer, this brings it a little bit closer. Feel free to move that pedal um, knot and then you can just like break it loose. There's pretty cool uh, tricks on, on the internet. Uh, I've seen really good YouTube videos that have, especially when the pedal is really stuck, that have tricks on how to use this. Uh, sometimes you can even put like a longer uh, lever and that makes it a lot easier for you to like break it loose. All right, we have, these are pretty cool. Uh, for end caps, it has a pincher right here at the very end. If you need to like grab something and take it out, um, a splinter or some glass or something like that on the tire is pretty helpful. You see like have fine tuning, just grabbing little small parts. I'm gonna put them together along with the cable cutters. Cable cutters, we use them a lot. So I'm gonna put them right here. It looks nice and pretty. Let me see anything that has to do with measurements. We have, this is a pretty cool ruler. It measures the bearings. So you can see the circles right here. You just put a bearing on top and it goes through and it tells you what size it is. Uh, it gives you uh, inches or millimeters. Most likely you'll be working with millimeters a lot. Uh, this other size is pretty cool. If you're working with cotter pins, you wanna go ahead and use this to measure the cotter pin. They're pretty old things. You probably don't have an old bicycle, but this is a good measuring tool. I'm gonna put it next to the chain tool. This is pretty cool to measure all your chains. So I'm gonna put it with a measuring tool right here. If your bikes are skipping, it's probably because your chain's really stretched out. 
This will let, it will tell you like how stretch it is. Right, we also have this little awesome measuring tape. Very helpful to know what size your frame is, you know, millimeters count when it comes to repairing. So make sure you, you keep this in mind. You'll be using it a lot. Um, another cable cutter. I'm gonna go ahead and put this next to uh, the pliers and the cable cutter, the little wire cutter over here. Uh, very helpful, especially when you're like re-cabling shifters or cabling. Let me see. Uh, we have another Allen key or hex key. Uh, this is pretty cool because it has like a grip. You'll be surprised at how many bolts are gonna be really tight. So you just need to like, you, you just really need to like have a good handle on it. So I'm gonna put it right over here next to all my Allen keys and the big one. Let me see. Um, these are pretty cool. They're not Allen keys. I forgot the name of it. I'll give you guys the model number, Park Tool TWS-1. These are pretty cool. Um, Whenever you're working with rotors on a, on a mountain bike or any, any bike, um, you can go ahead and use this to loosen the bolts on that rotor and then replace them. I don't use them that often. I'm, I'm just gonna go ahead and put it over here. Right, and then we have, we have the chain ring bolt. It's sort of like a stabilizer. You can just go ahead and like take it out. If you put it in the bag, you can just go ahead and tighten it. I don't use it as often. I'm gonna put it over here on the side. And of course, I have crescent wrench. Who knows? Um, I don't use a lot of crescent wrenches because I have the box wrenches, but um, these are good to have in case you have like a, you know, like a really tiny bowl that you can get a hold of. I'm gonna go ahead and put it closer. I think we have a lot more tools. Or I'm just gonna go ahead and show you a couple more, just in case you ever run into problems. Um, if you don't remember how to use them, don't worry. Park Tools has really good videos on how to properly use each tool. And for what reason? This is to straighten the derailleur dropout. Uh, that way in case like it's bent a little bit, you, you, you learn how to use this as a measurement. I'm gonna put it way over here. I don't use it as often. Brush, this is pretty cool. It's to clean your free wheel. Guess it really, it's really gunky. You'll be surprised when it comes to mechanicing, how much cleaning you have to do. That's all it takes. You can just like brush it out, clean it. I'm gonna put it over there. Uh, if you ever need to replace a cassette, this is, this is really nice. This is like a cassette plier. I'm gonna go ahead and put it over here. Really good videos on how to use it. We have a torque um, Allen key, as you say. It like it'll measure kind of the type of like how much torquing you need to do. It's much more specific. Newer bikes definitely need that kind of tool. Um, Hey, that's it for now. I'm gonna go ahead and show you this one. Uh, this is to remove either a free wheel or also like the lock ring on the cassette. I'm gonna put it next to the cassette pliers. Oh, this is my, a really cool tool. Uh, in case the rotor, your disc brake is a little bit bent. A lot of the times you already just put this in there, just like try to like strain it just a little bit. I recommend using a chewing stand with the rotor um, indicator to make sure that it's straight. And you can also use this for chain rings. Pretty cool tool. Uh, it's like an alignment tool. All right. And just lastly, I'm gonna show you, this is a bottom bracket tool. Go ahead and just place it. You definitely need another tool to create a little bit more leverage. Let me see, or you can probably use this. Yeah, you can definitely use the sucker punch. I'm gonna put it right over here. And this is my favorite tool. This so right here, you just go ahead and screw it in on the bottom bracket on the crank arm. That way you can take out the crank arm, either to replace it or to get have access to the bottom bracket. Once again, don't you don't have to learn this all the way. It's just a matter of getting used to the tools, using the proper tool on the bicycle part. That way you're able to have a good repair. And then uh, feel free to ask questions, you know, check out YouTube videos or call us. We're working bikes. We'll be happy to like, Maybe get you through it or just recommend better resources. That's it for now. Do you want to do like a quick like show off my little table over here? This is how I like my setup. So feel free to uh, do it better, have your own flow. And that's it for now.